Hi friends, I am Sai Chidhanya. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech Guru. In this video, I'll be doing the PUBG uh, smooth and extreme uh, graphic settings playback test in the Realme X7 Pro device. As you can see, friends, so this is a Realme X7 Pro. The Realme X7 Pro has got the Dimensity 1000 Plus processor, and uh, I did a lot of videos on the PUBG gameplay. And this is the time to do the smooth and extreme settings. So I'm using the Realme X7 Pro for the past uh, three to four months, and recently I did finish the Realme X7 Pro using after uh, 100 days. And I did a video on that particular topic uh, where I mentioned everything A to Z, all the things about this device and experience during this time. And make sure to check that uh, video just in case if you uh, didn't didn't check that video. And even the charging test as well after 100 days. And even there is a playlist which is available where you can find so many videos on this particular mobile phone. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned friends. If you are uh, willing to buy this phone, if you are thinking of buying the phone or if you're, any of your friends are thinking of buying the phone, make sure to check the playlist least first decide after watching so many videos only then you can decide whether to buy is it worth uh, for you or not so uh, let's see friends in this video how uh, will be the pubg game will be able to handle smooth and extreme so what is the graphic settings you'll be getting and uh, what are the uh, highest uh, fps you can expect in this phone so this is a test which i am doing without using any gfx tool so i'm not using any kind of gfx tool and this is a realme x1 pro with a dimensity 1000 plus processor with a 8 gb ram variant as you can see friends clearly so now let me try to open the pubg game so let's see uh, what will be the maximum uh, fps i can achieve while playing with the smooth and extreme settings so i have already uploaded with the hdr and extreme but this is a time to do with the smooth and extreme because a lot of users they are uh, interested in the smooth and extreme rather than hdr and extreme so let me try to uh, show you the settings exactly what i'm using so as you can see friends right now i'm using the smooth and extreme settings at the moment so let's see uh, how will the uh, Realme X1 Pro with the Dimensity 1000 Plus will be able to handle. So I'll, I already did a, a battery draining test while playing the PUBG game and even the charging test. Charging test while playing the PUBG game at same time. Even I did so many different different videos in this uh, Realme X1 Pro. So I make sure to check the playlist and you will get a clear idea and complete idea about this phone. So right now you can see uh, I'm getting around 60 FPS of the gameplay here using this kind of smooth and extreme settings so let me need to uh, run and uh, show you right now i'm trying to use the gyroscope sensor as well and this is a good time to test the gyroscope sensor playing with the smooth and extreme settings as you can see friends clearly So all the gameplay is really uh, good and from the time to till now the PUBG was ab able to handle uh, the Dimensity 1000 plays really good and I'm just waiting for the update of the 90 FPS at the moment. I didn't get the 90 FPS update at the moment in this uh, Realme X1 Pro. I'm really waiting for that kind of update to come. So let's see friends when will the update will be coming in this phone and right now you can see the real time FPS statistics on the top it says uh, 59 and 60 FPS and CPU and the GPU utilization as well. You can see the clearly all the details. <coughs> so it was a really good experience friends using the Realme X1 Pro for the past uh, few months and one thing is that it is not equal to the Snapdragon 865. Obviously the Snapdragon 865 is slightly better than the Dimensity 1000 Plus processor. So uh, is a OnePlus 8T which I got the uh, Snapdragon 865. I can definitely feel the difference. So right now you can see friends I am using the gyroscope sensor and which is working really good and uh, no issues at the moment. And I was able to achieve the FPS uh, of up to 60 FPS without any problem. You can clearly see here friends 60 FPS with a smooth and extreme settings without using any kind of GFX tool. So a lot of users, uh, they do play uh, using the GFX tool, but uh, the other few users who don't like to use the GFX tool because of their account getting banned. So this might help you a lot because you don't need to worry about the graphic settings in this phone. So make sure to uh, check the links in description friends for more battery and videos while playing the PUBG game. So you'll get to know the how is the uh, PUBG game in terms of the battery in this phone. So the phone has got the 4500 mAh of battery capacity and you should know how much you will be getting the battery. Oh, 
Only thing is that uh, the phone doesn't have the 90 FPS support at the moment. So you cannot expect a uh, 90 FPS right now. So maybe in the future with the update you might be able to get the 90 FPS. And the phone has got the dual uh, stereo speaker setup, so which is really good. You will be able to hear the sound coming from the left side or the right side. So you can easily uh, hear the enemy footsteps by using this kind of small trick which is present here. Let's go! So let, me let me try to run and uh, show you the real time graphics. I'm getting uh, 59 FPS right now. 60 FPS as you can clearly see friends 55 FPS I think overall maybe roughly up to uh, 55 to 60 FPS during this time without any issues as you can see the Dimensity 1000 plus processor will be able to handle so this with the smooth and extreme settings uh, test in this Realme X1 Pro so for more interesting games and videos, so make sure to follow me regularly friends. Definitely I'll do my best in terms of uh, doing the different different game comparisons and game test as well. And definitely the Dimensity 1000 Plus has got really uh, good power in terms of uh, playing the high-end games as well. I tested so many uh, high-end games like Jensen Impact, Fortnite and the Life After and all of those games did perform really good and without any problem. I'll try to do those videos again if possible and stay tuned for more uh, videos friends and thank you friends for watching this video and that's it for this video friends and see you in the next video until then. Bye.